Brown's best plan for the future is LeBron. He could take it anywhere. Oh, no, sorry. LeBron. no oh, he sorry. can't go back there. Uh, D'Angelo, let's start with you. Making sure they have a plan for Baker Mayfield moving forward. He, he was your number one draft pick. He is the future of that franchise. If you don't cultivate him as a passer with a young uh, offensive coordinator who can relate to him, who can get him motivated, who can teach him the little intricacies of how to play the position and what to read, um, he's going to be another bust. And he's not going to be a bust simply be be because he's not a good player. He's going to be a bust because they haven't put the proper resources in place for him to grow and be a, a really good quarterback. And They've messed it up a lot. A lot of times quarterbacks end up being bad in Cleveland because Cleveland doesn't put the right people around that quarterback to succeed. And so I would hope, because I'm a Baker fan, I like him, and so I would hope they put the right guys around him to be successful. So the best plan for the future is to have a plan for well, the future. Well, offensively right. have a, have, have a plan. Baker yeah, yeah, I don't care what they do on D. They'll be okay. Um, right. It's, offensively, if you don't have a quarterback in this league who can – throw the ball downfield and make plays either with his leg or with his arm, I mean, you're in for a long season. I agree. The best plan for their future is to be on the same page. I mean, you, you have so many times where these power struggles are ripping things apart for the Browns. We've seen Jimmy Haslam fire so many head coaches, so many GMs. Finally, they have John Dorsey in there, who I think now he'll be able to bring in his guy. He'll be able to hire somebody that he knows he can work well with, who will be a good fit for Baker Mayfield and all of these other young pieces that they have on that team. And we've seen a couple of teams now the 49ers did it a couple of years ago where they wanted to hire the GM the coach and they, they were it was all that about never the works. pairing mm -hmm. what never works oh it never works when you have when you have a guy in there first and then you have to hire sort of in reverse order well, it doesn't it's, work it's, often it's, it's egos it's egos right yeah and, you know in any any profession egos get in the way and especially when you talk about yeah. um, front offices and, and and head coaches because it's so simple to say for a guy to say, hey, you're the GM, you have your guy, I have my guy. We argue as a head coach. You win, we draft your guy. Instead of me just getting on board and saying, all right, we got your guy, let's make him the best player we can possible. As coaches, and I've seen it, I've seen those coaches kind of mm -hmm. harbor ill feelings toward that player or want that player not to succeed so they can say, Told you I was right. So weird. When that shouldn't be the case. Right. Let's all get on the same page. So, Colleen, you, you, you mentioned him, John Dorsey. The, the, the Browns' best plan for the future is to trust John Dorsey. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, he, I remember watching something recently. It was a, maybe a broadcast of a Chiefs game. They said, oh, credit to Brett Veach, the Chiefs GM, for finding Patrick Mahomes. No. Uh, John Dorsey was the general manager who made the move to get – Patrick Mahomes and a roster that when he was fired, I heard from so many people around. Are they kidding me? That's the best roster in the league. I heard that from so many people. And now he started to do it in Cleveland. He's brought in some guys via free agency and via the draft. He did a lot of tinkering this offseason. Uh, Sean, you talked about how their record in Cleveland could be so much better right now. I think yeah. that's a testament to how much talent they have right now. And he's already started to do it. So just let him do his thing. Let him hire his coach and give him time. Let's not blow this thing up in two years. For the Browns, I don't know, I'm going to kind of go back to the glory days. Maybe we bring back Bernie Kosar, bring back Kevin Mack, Ernest Biner, bring back all the greats, the, the original dog pound of Hanford Dixon and Frank Minifield. Wow. How about we bring back the coach that they fired back in 95 or 96? How about Bill Belichick? Okay. Let's bring him back. Oh. That's the best play. Oh. I mean, as if uh, the Browns, I mean, look, they fired a lot of coaches. They, I mean, it's hard to believe they fired him back then. But he's a different bill now. But maybe they bring him back. I don't know what they've got to do to persuade him. Maybe buy him some new ties. Oh, they got to give him ownership. Him so two hours ago, you're <laughs> telling Browns fans everything's fine out there. <laughs> yeah, bring, bring Bill back. Fix the mess. Here's what they need to do from a player standpoint. All right, the, the Desmond Harrison, their left tackle, I think he leads the league in penalties right now. He's given up more pressure than any other tackle in the league right now. We knew it was going to be hard to replace Joe Thomas. Who knew it would be this bad and this ugly? They tried Joel Batonio at left tackle. They mm -hmm. moved him back at the guard. The interior of this offensive line is good. But between him and Chris Hubbard, look, Baker Mayfield's got nowhere to go. And until they fix that up front, th th this, this offense is not, going to, it's not going to be functional. It feels like that Thursday night game against the Jets where Baker Mayfield had his debut was so long ago mm. at this point. And I, being at that game and seeing the way that the fans reacted to that game and the energy in that building, to your point a few hours ago with what they've dealt with over so much, of, of so much turmoil over this time, it's really sad to see all of this just keep happening to them. Yeah. They are such great fans. They were so awesome that 
that night, and they do have a bright future. This is the most attractive place. It's been beer. the most attractive uh, that has been in a while for a head coach to actually land there. So Cleveland.